Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today we are going to talk about concentration matrix. Now this concept may be new to some of you, but believe me, this is the concept which can help you to prepare the error-free method validation protocol. See, method validation protocol is one of the very important document as per as execution and end result of validation activities concerned. Just imagine in case if you miss on accurate concentrations across different parameters for let us say precision, linearity or accuracy, your entire validation can go into vain. You have to repeat the validation or you may have to take the deviations incident and again rework onto the validation. So it is very important for everyone to map these various concentrations as per requirement. So I am going to explain this concentration matrix preparation by taking an example of related substances method validation. So you can see on the screen that I have taken an example of a paracetamol tablet having a label claim of 500 mg. So this is a drug product. Uh, now before I move any further, let me also make you clear on uh, what you need to do as a part of this exercise while preparing the concentration matrix. In this particular example, you may find the content uh, or the shell highlighted by the yellow color. Now this is the only cell where you have to give the input. For rest other cells, you need not to give any input or you need not to make any changes. You have to again give the standard and sample preparations to estimate or establish the standard and sample concentration. So how is the standard preparation made? And this information you can collect from your standard testing procedure or method of analysis. So standard weight is 50 mg diluted to 100 ml. So please understand this particular uh, uh, structure. The 50 mg divided by 100 means what? The 50 mg is the weight of the standard diluted to 100 ml. Now this is the further dilution. You can also denote this something like uh, V1 as to V2 followed by V3 as to V4 and then V5 as to V6 hmm? means uh, the volumes diluted isn't it and finally maybe V7 as to V8 and this you can denote as a W means weight divided by V. I hope you are able to follow my thought process. So this could be another way to make you clear on to the exact information needs to be given in this particular sales. So I repeat once again 50 mg is the weight of the standard diluted to 100 ml. Further 5 ml is diluted to 50 ml then further 2 ml is diluted to 100 ml as there are no further dilutions given into the standard test procedures you have to enter 1 over there so don't left or uh, don't leave any cell empty the, the the cells which are highlighted in yellow color should not be kept empty so what is the concentration of the standard at the end it is 1 ppm. So I have calculated the concentration of standard in the unit of ppm. It is very convenient unit, uh, unit and I often seen that the people always prefer to use the concentration in ppm. Same I have also mapped the concentration for sample where the 500 mg equivalent of the paracetamol is weight diluted to 100 ml further 5 ml is diluted to 50 ml and uh, you will end up getting the concentration of uh, 500 ppm. Next important point in case of any validation is understanding the specification. Now in case of related substances, you may have two specifications for impurities. One is for release and another for stability. So the first important step one has to consider is what? Converting this percent limit into a ppm limit. So, for example, I have considered two impurities in this case. 
impurity A having a release specification of not more than 0.5%. So this 0.5% with respect to your 500 ppm sample concentration is going to become how much ppm? And that is 2.5 ppm. So this Excel sheet has automatically calculated this concentration in terms of ppm. So 2.5 ppm is the limit of impurity A in release specification and 5 ppm is the limit of impurity A as per the stability specification. I hope you understand this, isn't it? And it has been calculated automatically. You can also prefer to give the details of impurity that you are going to use for validation. What is the lot number? What is the expiry date? And what is the potency of the impurities? So once you understand the specification of impurities in terms of PPM, then you can start now mapping the concentrations for different validation parameters. For example, the first one is specificity. So how you are going to prepare the specificity sample? There could be a need of preparation of the placebo sample. So how much of the placebo needs to be weighed, which is equivalent to 500 mg of the sample? And that is going to become 200 mg. So 200 mg of the placebo has been weighed, has to be weighed and diluted to 100 ml. And you can follow the sample preparation procedure which is given over here. That sample weight divided by 100. So placebo weight divided by 100. As the sample weight is, I mean the sample preparation is further diluted to 5 to 50. You have to also follow the 5 to 50 dilution for placebo preparation. I hope you understand how the placebo preparation is uh, done. The next important point in case of specificity is preparation of the individual impurity uh, solutions at maybe their release specification. So how one can do that? So let us say we have the two impurities as I said earlier impurity A and impurity B and this information has been automatically calculated uh, uh, you know the collected. So if I put the impurity A name over here this excel sheet will take automatically all the information required in the future calculations part. Now the second important point is uh, I need to prepare the impurity stock solution and I decided to prepare the impurity stock solution by weighing 10 mg of impurity weight and further diluting it to let us say, let us say 100 ml. You can also put over here as uh, weight in terms of mg and uh, dilution in terms of ml just for better clarity. Then further uh, pipetted again one to one means what there is no further dilution required. So what is the concentration of uh, impurity A standard stock I got? It is 100 ppm. Now once I prepare the stock solution the next important step is to prepare the individual impurity solutions at their respective release specification. So how much stock volume has to be pipetted out and here is the information now. See this information I need to give first and I have just followed my sample preparation procedure or I can follow the another procedure also. So I thought of uh, the, using the 200 ml volumetric flask. So this is the impurity stock volume I got automatically calculated that is a 5 ml. That means if I dilute the 5 ml of this 100 ppm stock solution to 200 ml, I will end up getting 2.5 ppm impurity A concentration. Similarly, if I dilute uh, 3 ml of uh, 100 ppm impurity B stock solution to 200 ml volume, I will end up getting 1.5 ppm impurity B concentration. And you can see that I am actually able to get the concentrations as per my release specification requirement. Then the spike sample preparation. So in the specificity, you also have to inject a spike sample at the release specification. Then prepare the system suitability solutions according to your testing procedure. The third parameter is now the repeatability. A repeatability study, I assumed to prepare a, a stock solution of impurity A at 200 ppm, impurity B also at 200 ppm and these are the weighing details of the standard. 20 ml of the impurity A is diluted to 100 ml. Now what is the content of impurity A present in the sample as a sample? 
and it is let us say 0.1 percent your sample may be having uh, some impurities now i need to only spike that amount of impurity stock a so that the end concentration will be 2.5 ppm now how much ml of the impurity stock a has to be used that is the 10 ml so 10 ml of the impurity a stock uh, plus 700 mg of the crushed paracetamol tablet diluted to 100 ml followed by 5 to 50 and you will get the 2.5 ppm of impurity a similarly if you dilute the uh, 5 ml of the impurity stock b you will get 1.5 ppm of the impurity b so in this example you have actually used actual finished product for preparing the repeatability solutions but in case if you don't want to use uh, uh, finished product for conducting a repeatability because of certain reasons or if it is unavailable, you can also conduct the repeatability by actually uh, conducting uh, by making the uh, placebo and APIs mixture together and then you can prepare the repeatability solutions. So this is the uh, provision I have provided over here in case if you do not use the drug product for conducting a repeatability how this concentration can be made and you can see over here the third point is in case of precision is uh, you have to also conduct the precision for highest unknown impurity and you can consider the api at the concentration of your unknown impurity limit and that information is been given over here under the point labeled as a c Hmm. The SIP, similarly, you can also find the, uh, the calculation details provided for linearity for different impurities. And uh, so you can see over here that the linearity has been conducted at uh, concentrations ranging from LOQ to 300%. These are the concentrations of linearity 1.25, uh, 50% to 7.5 50 ppm for impurity A at 300%. So you can actually map the linearity concentrations for how many impurities at a time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, almost 11 linearity uh, concentrations can be mapped in the same Excel sheet. Right. And then uh, once you make the stock solutions, how much stock solution needs to be taken for preparation of 50 percent? That is 5 ml of impurity A for 50 percent diluted to 10 ml further dilute 10 ml of the resultant solution to 50 ml and you will end up with the 1.25 ppm of the linearity concentration for impurity A. Same is you can do for B and rest of the another impurities and you will be ready with actual preparation of your linearity stock solutions and the final linearity solutions. Same is the case for accuracy parameters also. You make the stock solutions first with the different concentration as required i have prepared the 250 ppm concentration for impurity a and 150 ppm concentration for impurity b and uh, then uh, what are the levels i need to perform the accuracy let us say these are the accuracy levels again 50 to 300 uh, percent also including loq so these are the concentrations of impurity a these are concentrations requirement for impurity b and these are the dilutions required for impurity a and b so by using the uh, concentration matrix it becomes very easy to map the different concentrations uh, across the different validation parameters accuracy uh, even all the so I think I have covered all the parameters where you need to calculate the concentrations in case if you think that this my concentration matrix or the spreadsheet is going to be useful for you please share your email address in the comment box below and then I will email this uh, spreadsheet to you for your use thank you so much